バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょう同じコラムの日本語原稿を読み上げた動画シリーズ Readings for Japanese Study もありますので、興味のある方は動画の下の説明にリンクがあります。では、このレッスンの方法について説明します。まずは、DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてください。そうしたら、DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください。次に、英語のテキストだけを読んでください。英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょう。もちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください。次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてください。これで予習が終了です。ここからこの動画によるレッスンを行います。この YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください。次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください以上のステップを繰り返すことで英語の表現力読解力ヒアリング力スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです2回目以降のレッスンの際にはこの画面の下にある「もっと見る」を開いてテキストの朗読のところをクリックしてくださいすぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます。今回は、Cinema in Theater 26 An Introduction to the History of World Cinema Part 2世界の映画史について紹介する新シリーズの概要後半です。楽しみながらレッスンしましょう。9 Hollywood and the British Film Industry In Chapter 9, we will cover the intersection of Hollywood and the British Film Industry. For example, the English comedic actor Charlie Chaplin, perhaps cinema's greatest icon, became a global star through the silent films and talkies he made in Hollywood. However, in the 40s, his popularity declined rapidly for his political views and a string of affairs. In the 50s, he was accused of communist sympathies and he was forced to leave the US and settle in Switzerland. Then there's the English director Alfred Hitchcock, the master of suspense, who made most of his iconic work in Hollywood. Or the American director, Stanley Kubrick, whose dislike of the Hollywood industry led him to move to the UK and spend most of the remainder of his career there. We will also look at the English actors who have played American icons and the American actors who have played English icons. In recent years, Welsh actor Christian Bale has played the American superhero Batman. The American legend of the screen, Meryl Streep, has played the Iron Lady herself, Margaret Thatcher, and even won an Oscar for her portrayal. 10. The Cinema of the UK, France, Italy. In Chapter 10, we will look at the cinema of the UK, France, and Italy. The British film industry has produced historical epics like Lawrence of Arabia, as well as massively popular franchises like James Bond, Monty Python, and Harry Potter. From France, we will start with Georges Méliès, an illusionist and film director who pioneered many technical and narrative elements in the earliest days of cinema. Then we will look to the generation of French filmmakers who were influenced by the introduction of Hollywood films into Europe following the end of World War II. Young directors like Jean Luc Godard, Francois Truffaut, and Eric Romer were called the French New Wave for their rejection of traditional filmmaking conventions. For their rejection of traditional filmmaking conventions in favor of experimentation, their work would influence filmmakers around the world and inspire similar movements such as. New Hollywood and the Japanese New Wave. 
From Italy, we will look at masters of cinema such as Roberto Rossellini and Federico Fellini, who are known as part of the Italian neorealism movement. We will also look at the spaghetti westerns that emerged out of the work of Sergio Leone. 11. The Cinema of Europe in Latin America In Chapter 11, we will look at the cinema of other European countries like Germany, Poland, Russia, and Spain. From Germany, we will look at the directors of the New German Cinema Movement, who are greatly influenced by the French New Wave. Rainer Werner Fassbinder, Werner Herzog, and Wim Wenders. Their low-budget films enticed art film fans from around the world. We will also cover the cinema of Mexico, namely The Three Amigos, Alejandro González Iñárritu, Alfonso Cuarón, and Guillermo del Toro, who would achieve both critical and box office success and move filmmaking forward with technical and narrative innovations. From Australia, we will look at the work of such filmmakers as George Miller, who is known for the Mad Max series. Mad Max Fury Road is already considered one of the 21st century's greatest action films. 12. The Cinema of Japan We've published a number of pieces about Japanese filmmakers and cinema and theater so far, but in this series we will take a bird's eye view of Japanese cinema as a whole, looking at its relationship with Hollywood and the cinema of Europe, as well as highlighting the innovations that are unique to Japanese cinema culture. No overview of the cinema of Japan would be complete without a look at how directors like Kurosawa Akira and Ozu Yasujiro became globally renowned. We will also look at how a film production company called Art Theatre Guild championed Japan's new wave. Then there are directors like Imamura Shohei and Kitano Takeshi and Koreeda Hirokazu, who have received acclaim and accolades at the world's most prestigious film festivals. Meanwhile, films like the Torasan series are quintessentially Japanese, but little known outside of the country. Finally, we will look at how the Japanese film industry has become increasingly insular and inward-looking, with most of its releases today being adaptations of anime properties and TV dramas. 13. The Japanese Film Industry In Chapter 13, we will look at the directors, producers, screenwriters, and actors and actresses that have shaped the cinema of Japan. We will consider what Japan's box office rankings reveal about the current state of the domestic industry. And we will also reflect on the work of Japanese film critics like Yodogawa Nagaharu and Machiyama Tomohiro. 14. The Cinema of Asia, India, Middle East, the Middle East In Chapter 14, we will look at the cinema of Asia, India, and the Middle East. China is known for historical martial arts epics like Hero and the Red Cliff series, while Hong Kong is known for action films like Police Story. Actors and stunt performers like Jackie Chan and Jet Li, as well as directors like John Woo, have achieved global fame and completely changed the face of Hollywood action films. From South Korea, we will look at directors like Park Chan-wook, who is known for revenge films like Old Boy, and Bong Joon-ho, whose latest film Parasite became the first foreign language film to win Best Picture at the Oscars. And no survey of world cinema would be complete without a look at Bollywood, the film industry based in Mumbai, India. Although Bollywood films are not widely viewed by American and European audiences, the industry is one of the largest in the world, with ticket sales comparable to Hollywood. The English director Danny Boyle scored a worldwide hit with his 2008 film Slumdog Millionaire, which has been described as Hollywood meets Bollywood, although the movie's gritty aesthetic bears no resemblance to traditional Bollywood films. 15. Film Awards and Film Festivals In Chapter 15, we will cover film awards and film festivals from around the world. That includes the Academy Awards and the Golden Globes, as well as various prestigious critics' awards. Then there are the British Academy Film Awards, or the BAFTAs, which are internationally respected, and the Japanese Academy Film Prizes, which are pretty much irrelevant outside of Japan. In terms of film festivals, we will cover international film festivals like Berlin, Cannes, and Venice, as well as the Toronto International Film Festival, such as Film Festival in Spain, and Tribeca and Sundance in the US. 16. The Dawn of the Streaming Age in Chapter 16, we will look at how video streaming services have changed the industry landscape and the way we consume movies. Today, Netflix has grown so big that it releases a new feature-length film or TV series seemingly every week. Films like Alfonso Cuarón's Roma, which was distributed by Netflix, have even won critical accolades. 
The movie theater industry had already been hurting as a result of the spread of these services, and the COVID-19 pandemic has only made things bleaker. Major movie studios have been releasing some of their films online, while continuing to push back the theatrical debut of their tentpole films for the year. With film festivals cancelled around the world, independent filmmakers are especially struggling with finding ways to get their movies out there. Epilogue Compared to the Hollywood films we will look at in the first half of this series, the films coming out of Europe and Asia are generally smaller in terms of both scope and budget. Many of them are challenging art films fueled by a filmmaker's clear vision, rather than commercial releases catering to the lowest common denominator. That's partly the result of Europe's long tradition of arts and culture. Countries like China, South Korea, and Japan have each fostered a distinct cinema culture. While the Japanese film industry is content to twiddle its thumbs and cater to the domestic market, South Korean cinema has made international inroads. Meanwhile, China has a market so big that it's Hollywood that has come knocking on their door. The influence of Chinese money in Hollywood is only growing. Here it's important to draw a distinction between the movies that Hollywood makes and the cinema that comes out of Europe. Movies are commercial entertainment. Cinema is an art form. Americans go to the movies, Europeans go to the cinema. Indeed, the word cinema comes from the French word cinematographe, the device invented by the Lumiere brothers, which, in turn, comes from the Greek word kinema, or movement, which itself comes from the Greek word kinema, or movement. In that sense, Kinema Junpo, the long-running Japanese magazine specializing in the film industry, is a venerable institution. But the movies coming out of the Japanese film industry today are neither kinema nor cinema. Throughout this series on world cinema, we will also consider the place of Japanese cinema and what its future holds. Ijo Cinema in Theater 26 An Introduction to the History of World Cinema, Part 2 No ego texto o rodok shimashita. Ikaga de shita ka? このコンテンツが気に入ったら YouTube のこの動画の右下にあるボタンからチャンネル登録をぜひ行ってくださいテキストの最後にある Facebook、Twitter、Instagram のアイコンから DIG 東京の公式アカウントに入りフォローしてくださいご意見ご要望がありましたら YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください www.digtokyo.jp